There are some people who ask me, um, what do I do for a living? Because, um, you know, they happen to like some of the cars that I buy and that I do uh, long-term reviews on. And um, one of the things that I do is I do, you know, like amateur stock investment. So because I have a Scott trade, what is it, Scott trade portfolio and I also have ING or something like that. But um, I really deal mostly in Scott trade. Uh... About a year ago, I did a video called Blows Off, uh, where I also threw in some video clips I had of the Dodge Charger Rally Edition. And um, in that video that I made, I told you about this stock that I was interested in buying called BLOZF. There's a very simple rule when you want to pick good stocks, and it's a very simple rule. It's called buy the rumor, sell the fact. That means if there's a rumor that there's a company that does something that is making something that sounds like it's going to be up and up, you buy on the rumor and you sell on the fact. So this is what I did. I purchased Blows Off and I purchased 10,000 shares of it when it was just worth uh, 0.16. Because you got to keep in mind, this was a year ago. There were some people who followed uh, me and who actually send me messages and talk about they purchased some. And I guess I was the one who alerted him to the fact that it existed. Now, BLOZF is a uh, code for this company called Cannabix Technologies. And what they are building is they're building a marijuana breathalyzer. Now, a marijuana breathalyzer I knew right away was going to be a big thing simply because they are never going to allow you to be free when it comes to uh, marijuana. You will always be under the boot heels of the state. The cops are never going to allow you to get away with smoking this stuff and um, they're never going to allow you to get away with, um, you know, freedom. You're not going to have any freedom. What they're going to do is they're going to treat marijuana exactly like they treat alcohol. So as you can see, blows off is now 0.73. I purchased 10,000 shares because I like big round numbers and I like to buy in blocks. It only cost me less than $1,700 when I purchased it. And it was basically just YouTube money that I was reinvesting for that month, whenever that was a year ago. But now, every single share that I purchased is now up. And now it's 0.73 cents. So as you can see, for that one year... Um, when it was 0.16, that was right about, that was right about here somewhere. But, you know, I could, I could just look at the date of this video, because I think I did it like the same date. It was July 15, 2015. And, um, as I was saying, they're never going to allow freedom of marijuana. The more people who vote to legalize marijuana at the state level, you're going to be seeing these things. You're going to be seeing these marijuana breathalyzers. So basically, they're showing a summary and they show news. You can research it yourself. But yes, they actually do have a marijuana breathalyzer. And they have a working unit. And uh, they actually, like when I was reading it, I actually took pictures of the marijuana breathalyzer, which I'm going to post uh, so that you can see what it looks like. And basically, it just looks like a marijuana breathalyzer. Nothing special. It looks like a marijuana breathalyzer. But uh, this is what you can look forward to in your future. You can look forward to, if you are high and the police smell marijuana in your breath, you can look forward to this marijuana breathalyzer. Right now, it's 75 cents. Now, I don't think most people um, give, like, stock tips online because the problem is I think there has to be disclaimers like Jim Cramer they always have a disclaimer that says yeah I'm not allowed to really tell you what to buy and if if you buy it's on you if there's a loss and this that and other per share this shit is 72 uh what is it 0. 0.7282 that was the close or something and I think the ask is like 74 or something 74 cents whatever um the simple fact is I bought in at 0.16, and now it's up to 75 cents per share. So just to give you a, a, a clue of what that is, if you do 10,000 times, what is that, 0.72, and right now I'm not really counting my chickens before they hatch. So that's $7,200 uh, $7, that I made on that one trade. And it's had its dips, it's had its ups and downs, so, you know, there's always the problem where you worry about, oh, shit, am I going to lose money? And you worry about, like, the dips. You're always going to see dips, you know, there's always a boom and bust cycle. But um, the thing, as you can see, I bought it 
when it was 0.16, but now it's 0.7282. Um, and I, I think this is one of my good trades. Yeah, I mean, this is $7,200, and the thing about it is I don't know how far this shit's going to go. So for any of you who buy marijuana stocks, you should also consider purchasing on the opposite side of that coin and consider you know, purchasing marijuana breathalyzer stocks. This is one of my really, really lucky good trades because $7,200 off of only $1,700 is pretty damn good. But it's nowhere near as much money as I made on Tesla because I bought Tesla in 2012 when that shit was less than $30 a share. And I spent like over $5,000 buying shares because I really, really felt that they'd hit $300 per share, but they never did. But they are far higher than $30, as you know. In fact, let's see what Tesla's close was today. Me personally, I really don't even look at this stuff anymore because the problem, I put the money there like it's a bank account and I just leave it. It's $188. I thought that I'd have hit $300 because I had an automatic share seller on Scott Trade. So as soon as it hit $300, it was automatically going to sell all. But they must have known that, and then they turned that shit off and made it so that, yeah, I was going to get stuck going down to $188. Now, you know, I am up no matter how you slice it because this Tesla is never going to go below $50. But at $188 a share, I really want to see it get back to like $250 or something. But, um, you know, I, I'm hanging in there because the problem is you get scared and, you know, people panic. That's how to get the suckers out. So basically, this was just a, a little update market watch because I haven't really added to my market watch videos. And this is just a little update. If you're interested in purchasing BLOZF, now's the time to do it. You're, or, you've already missed out on the train that came in, you know, but the thing about it is you can do the research for yourself and, um, you know, consider whether or not you think it makes sense for you. But um, obviously, you're gonna if you do choose to buy it, you're buying like 63 or 65 cents higher than I purchased. So, you know, just consider it. But I really think cannabis technology. I really think they're going places because the thing about it is technology like this. I mean, you really think about. It. Look at the breathalyzer for uh, what's it called for um, for alcohol. That's a damn piece of equipment that's gonna be around forever. And it says right there, it says, for marijuana user, this device can either be considered a friend or foe. Obviously, the intent of the device is to play a significant role in keeping intoxicated drivers off the roads. Yeah, the boot, the boot heel of the state is coming down on your necks, and you have a choice which side you want to be. And here's truth be told, I've never actually smoked marijuana, and I've purchased more marijuana using Scott Trade than pretty much... Any of you have purchased from your nickel and dime bag dealers in your college campuses.